Monday team, wanted to just put this quick walkthrough together to show you a case I've been working on with some customers to show the difference in how you might approach something from a Sigma first perspective compared to bringing something over from a different platform. So I got this request recently and the customer wanted to have a pivot table where they take uh, one table, one you know data table, and they slice it up into two different periods, and then they have a third additional pivot column showing the deltas between those two periods. So here I can select a year, and so you know, let's say it's like 2023, and I'll compare that against 2021. And in here I can see for my order count, this is the difference between 2023 and 21. Uh, so, you know, common request, although it's always some slightly different context, it's not always, you know, performance period and comparison period and deltas. Sometimes they have totally different custom ways of slicing it up, or they want to have year to date and month to date in the same table. And so it's a very complex process. Uh, in order to do that, first you bring in your data table. This one right here is the plugs electronics table. And so then I've duplicated it into two separate tables and added a uh, filter targeting the date column. And then to get that third one with the deltas, you first have to union them all together. Uh, then you calculate your deltas by grouping it at the same granularity. And then you union the union table back to these red and blue tables to create this pink one. This is a union of all three of the above. And so that's how we end up with our third deltas column. And then it's ready to create this pivot table. There's quite a lot of work. And then, you know, in other cases where you have more custom aggregations, uh, I've got another customer right now going through this and we have 24 different tables. So a different way to approach that would be the Sigma first way, which is when you don't have to deal with the baggage of your past platforms and you're just trying to do it the best way it can be done in Sigma. And so in that, we just use a standard table just a regular Sigma table. And all I have here is just some clever conditional formatting. So I have my uh, performance period and comparison period. Um, <clears throat> and I have this uh, segmented control that allows me to switch out the metric that gets passed into the performance and comparison column. So under the hood, I started out with that table and then I just group it by customer. And I add a sum if, for example, of if the year equals a performance period year then give me that. And so I just create those columns for every one here. And then I create the uh, segmented control to swap them out. But as you can see, this is a much more clean and easily uh, understood table. I've got my data bars. I've got an additional metric here, which I couldn't even fit into the other one, which is the percentage delta. And so then I just swap it out like this and I can use my conditional formatting. So I thought this was a great way to highlight the differences in what you can achieve if you're just coming at it with a fresh perspective on Sigma versus, you know, dealing with all this technical debt of trying to replicate things that are built around the limitations of other software. So I hope this helps. All right. Have a great week.